Chicago, Chicago was a reason. big influence on the mm. drill scene, I think. Like, Very. Like, because obviously, before the drill thing was popping, it was just like grime and rap. But I think Chicago had a very big influence on like, the, the whole like, drill movement. Like, drill came like, from yeah. Chicago. Drill came, drill came from Chicago. If but you listen to old drill songs, yeah. you'll see the instrumentals they use before. You know, like and that. Now, and then because the producers in the UK mm, have adapted to it and like, we've took it. Like, it for example, kind of took the sound melodies, of it, for example, melodies, and then you know the snare rolls. But it's got the same kind of bounce. And then the like, and yeah, the, sn- the way the snare is like structured, yeah. it's different. Yeah. But yeah. we actually took Chicago's sound, sound. and same. switched it up. BK coming from the funding as well. My top three beats, personally, I think it's getting an AM mad about bars for one because that got that blew up on like 12 million views or something. Yeah, crazy views, yeah, crazy so. views. Bro. Second one, Zone T behind bars, the second beat, obviously. Mm, definitely. I like the flow to Quen, I like Quen Face's flow still. Definitely. <laughs> the third one, the third one, I would have to say foolishness, just because it's a bit, yeah. it's a different kind of drill. Get me, it's not so. Is the, the pianos, the piano god, yeah, 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 yeah the pianos, mad, yeah. Yeah. happy beat. Yeah, come on. What's your thing saying though? Man? I say my top three beats. The first one I say is repercussions because that just popped off. Eight six. Yeah, definitely, in. definitely. Moscow jumped in it. Hella man jumped. Hella man jumped in that beat. Popped like I'm seeing snaps sent to me from people. My Jump. second one. My second one I say. I say, I say, stick from 150 degrees. Still, like that one, that yeah, one. Yeah, iconic yeah. drill. Yeah, like that. Yeah. That was just like drill, like sticks, Def- like. Definitely. I feel like sticks is one of the in depth man. drill pioneers. So for him to jump on my depth, beat, like. Proper in depth. And my last one, I think. I think, pokey. Yeah, pokey. Yeah, music music that, that, that popped in. Everyone knows yeah. that. Yeah. Everyone that knows. piano, that, that beat, thing. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, classic. Yeah. Popped in then still. Everyone shot at me when that dropped as well. Um, in my opinion, um, um, the top three beats I've obviously personally liked making was um, Fig Again, obviously by 410, um, because I made it when I was young. That was like my first placement, so that blew, um, ironically. So, yeah. The second beat, um, RV and Heady One's Artist Out. Different Freestyles, story. yeah. Different. I, I'm surprised it even blew you like, massively. Just from a freestyle. I read that one still. Mm. I read that one Different still. flow still. Definitely. Mm. And then the third one, um, the beat is called Repercussions as well. Me and Cayman um, collabed on, but a lot of um, artists hopped on it. And I was just surprised, such as 86, um, was it Moscow? And I think b side hopped on it as well. Burner. Burner. Burner, yeah, Burner yeah, 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 hopped on it as well, yeah. 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 That That's blow, that, this, that song's blowing as well. Blowing up, blowing up as so, well. So, it personally, I think Repercussion's done a good job, you know, mm. in terms of still, the, out, it's out there, the reception. Still, the still, reception. Still, get, still gets banged up. So still still get banged up to this day. Yeah, yeah. So, I was mad about bars now. I had done the melody first, obviously. I started it off, mixed it and that. I did basic snares, just so they get an idea of what I'm trying to get out get me. And then, yeah, I yeah. think I added a bass. Did I add a bass? I don't know. With the beat as well, um, I done the end product, so I just added a little bit more snares. I laid it out, and obviously, I just you know perfect, little, perfected it into like a little snare rolls, yeah. little snare rolls, and obviously, and, yeah, I've maybe abs rated our thing, and just when someone rates your thing, I think they just look at your beats and then probably rated the beat and just thought, yeah, man, I'm trying to grab this one as well, and you just mm. use it for his man about bars like that, yeah. Low his snares are very distinctive compared to other producers in my opinion. He's very different with it. He separates himself from other drill producers. I, yeah, I say one thing that I think that BK and BK has has taught me a bit is like simplicity. That like you can have like not a lot of sounds in your beat, mm-hmm. but it's what you do with the sounds. Yeah, like yeah, before we do sounds, I used yeah. to think, raw like I want this sound and that sound, but when you actually have a few sounds sometimes the beat can come out so different like, and that's what JM, that's what bk showed me jm that like, because i've got experience with like obviously i used to play that's how i started making beats playing the piano he showed me like raw like someone someone could be telling that like, the piano as well like his piano 
Piano, piano, piano. I used to play piano still. Not like that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah. So like he kind of like, obviously I, f- I, f- I used to think like, right, that's that was my unique, unique, unique selling point, yeah. yeah. So, but then after that, mm. I heard JM, I was like, right, like this guy's cool at piano as well, like, right, like this guy is very cool, different with it. Yeah. Like, mm. yeah. Can't lie, BK, he's got the dark melodies. His melodies <laughs> are dark, like, if he wants to make a happy melody, he can make, but his dark melodies, I think, mm. they're calm, they're cool yeah. still. Like, I'm also with snare rolls as well, with snare mm. rolls, like, he knows where to put them, he knows where it would make a big effect in mm. terms of when an artist is. Yeah. Cayman now, nah. Cayman's bass, bass, the way he's yeah, bass, like, bass. I can't even explain it to you, but <laughs> I think I think his, his melodies bass, are so good as well. His bass and his melodies, the bass, he's got the certain notes where you will think, nah. Want to fit in when when Cayman does it, it's a bit like, nah, <laughs> like you're thinking, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, like, 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 it wouldn't even like, fit in, like, but it like does. Like, yeah, his pianos as well. His pianos, he's got the different. Uh, and obviously, K Man's taught me because obviously I've known K Man for like a long time. Um, he, when I started producing, he he was like a factor to me. He kind of taught me. He kind of um, created the path um, in a way for me to learn how to, you know, play in the melody, like play the piano. Well, I'm not. A, I don't play on the piano, but obviously I learned how to play the piano using the system. Obviously, it's F4 Studio. And then from there we just started collabing a lot, mm. and then I learned a lot, of, a lot of things from him because he was already advanced in um, producing. So it was yeah. just like a, you know, a little step in to yeah, yeah, yeah. the next yeah. one. Yeah. Started from a keyboard. Like I asked my mum to buy me a keyboard for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Like this is must have been like, days, this must have been, I must have been like seven. Yeah. I was like, mum, like, I want a keyboard for Christmas. Like, Ever since I got the keyboard, I was just on it. Like, even Christmas Day, I was just playing on the keyboard, just trying to like teach myself little songs. Like, and then I used to just like in general listen to music and think, wow, like how did they make the beat like that? Like, whoa! I used to just listen to music and deep. I would actually deep music, like not like how a, a, a kid will usually deep music. If that makes sense. Yeah. And then before you know it, I had FL on my computer, started playing around, teaching myself simple melodies. This is when I started making it, and I. I started playing it in school and everyone was like, raw like, I remember my friend John used to rate my beats, like, he used to be like, yeah, like, he used to come back to me the next day with a new beat. He like, improve it, improve it, improve it, like, I used to just like, bang it out and then, that's when BK was like to me, yeah, I started making beats as well, like, yeah, that's how yeah, we started, yeah, that's just, how, just, I just, okay, that's the relationship, made, the relationship just lie, boom shot, from there. I shot BK, when I first make, yeah. started making beats, mm. BK, obviously, I saw him, I saw he had a little video and I was like, bro, he makes beats and that. Yeah, I, yeah, from, yeah. I knew where he's from with that. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I we, shouted him now. Yeah. From there, we just grew together. We just grew like, together. We started making beats, you know, just learning off from each other yeah. to become Help a good, to gain a good relationship as well. Not just, obviously, just producers in general, but as friends, to yeah. gain a good relationship. I think what made it so key is always that like, the fact that we we all started from, we all knew where we started, if that makes sense. So that like, yeah. BK, knew me when I was making that. Like, yeah. Not, t- I wouldn't say rubbish beats, but when I first started making Yeah, just started getting to producing. We all knew each other when, when, when we were starting off. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. So and that, I think that's what makes our, when we, like, the way that we collab, like, I think it's in, in a way special because, yeah, we just started off just from us, like from the bottom, and we've risen up with each other. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just natural. It's, natural. Yeah. it's not like it's, it's not, not like forced. it's not it's like not it was. It was. It was. Like, shouting a man and saying, "Yo, yours, it's man, yours." Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, you know what? Like, I'll send you something. I'll send you something. Send you something. Yeah, like literally, I'll be on Snap, like snapping my laptop, and Jim be like, "Yo, I'm sending you a melody right now." Like, no. And that's another. Someone jumped on a beat already. Like, just like that. You be going. We go around to each chop. Yeah, I go. Or I'll be in. I'll be in as I be like, "Yo, Jim, are you about like?" I'll go to each other. Be there for like two hours, like cook up like three beats and just three, three beats. And yeah, it like, just like, just like that. Five yeah. years time, I've I want to see myself working with industry producers and obviously making different types of music except for drill because I can make different types of music, but it's about what sells, isn't it? So obviously I want to see, I want to see myself just working every day. I want to get my own studio as well, kind of like hundred percent, hundred percent. Hundreds, yeah. Well, different Same. artists, not the not the artists that you know, but artists that you think you can grow with as well. Of course, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Alright, cool. So in five years, I would like to be able to just say, yo, listen, like I can actually make a living off fully, like off of producing. Mm-hmm. Also, I like to see myself working with like 
just big producers from America, mm, yeah, from like, yeah, like, that. That I, mm. I'd like to work with my people that ins- inspire me, like Zay Tobin, like any yeah, like, yeah, just anyone like, in the UK, hundred, hundred, yeah, hundred, like, more networking, like, UK. but no, like in five years, I'll, I'll definitely like mm-hmm. be deep in the industry, like properly, like going to gigs, doing shows, like yeah, stuff like that, like. 100%. Having my own studio in my own yard, like having my own yard, like yeah, my own own yard, yeah. like yeah. making a yeah. living out, of producing, yeah. like and get out the ends. Basically, this is what we do it for. Like, yeah. yeah. In five years' time, um, um, I wanna obviously have my own studio, and I just wanna be working with industry producers. Um, you know, notoriously from like America, maybe other countries. We'll see about that, but. Um, I do want to make a living of producing because it's it's my my whole life. Everything that I do, you know, for example, when I'm angry, I, I just when I, I just produce, and when I produce, you know, it calms me down. Like producing my whole life. Like I, you see me, I just listen to instrumentals all the time. I just <laughs> I do all I all I do is listen to instrumentals. One artist I want to work with in the UK is man. It's, it's a different kind of beats. It's, it, the way he raps is like real stuff, isn't it? And Someone else, he's not from the UK by the way, is Presser. I like his flow. He uses different kind of beats as well. Like they're more they're more up tempo and yeah. they're more they're yeah. not so dark, like they're more happy. You know what I mean? Um for me, artists in the UK that I would want to work with personally, um, is Chipmunk. Chip. Mm. Um mm. only because I've literally been listening to him since I was young. Chip did he chip that like, and I just his flow is just tight, like, you can kill anyone in the battle, like, he's just cold, like, Chip, he's just versatile as well, mm. always switching it up, um, and I say, someone that's not from the UK, that I'd want to work with, um, I'd say, Rich the Kid, though, mm. I really rate Rich yeah. the Kid, like, Rich the Kid, is yeah. skippy flows, like, he's just flexy yeah. as well, <laughs> catches you, catches you well, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Um, one artist from the UK that I would want to work with is Fredo, simply because I believe that he's very like different compared to other UK artists. Although he uses trap beats, he can you know use rap beats, and yeah, I just like the way um he like he like <laughs> I like the way basically he's he raps on his music and yeah. And um, another artist, but not from the UK, I would want to work with is Lil Herb. Simply because, <laughs> simply, simply because, I simply scared. because I feel like Lil Herb is the best drill rapper in my opinion of all time. I don't know why, but I just believe that he, he's his flow is just different, and I just grew up listening to him. Big influence. If you if you listen to that song, for example, Mama, I'm sorry. Influence. Oh, listen to that song. That song. It makes you deep life and yeah <laughs> and he's just he's just a good artist he's a pioneer of drill um us producer we can't stick to one genre because um what's it called it's like we're stuck onto one idea we need to be different versatile. you know what i'm saying versatile. we need to be versatile that's the versatile if we're not versatile then you know even you know. if drill did that yeah like, it will come back up it'll come back it'll up. come back it'll come back harder like and it wouldn't be an issue for us three as well because I know for a fact that BK can make cold rap beats and Jim can make cold rap beats, trap course, beats, course, swing course. beats, like any type, ta- like, like, Drills I think cool, we're more known for making drill beats, but trust me, we got a couple. Um, shout, um, shout out Mixtape Madness, shout out Bills um, for giving us this opportunity to be involved with the series of Behind the Beats. And obviously we've got big things coming out such as uh, Watch out for our new, uh, our new projects yeah. coming up project soon. Coming project coming soon. Okay, um, obviously Shout Brigade, um, obviously my producing group, shout you know, MK, M1, Micah, Sapphire, team, 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 team. got show everyone. Obviously Big Up Bills, we got Mixtape Madness, you get me, shout out Mixtape Madness for this one man, trust me, it's all, all love every time. Mm-hmm. Shout out Brigade, Brigade and yeah man, just watch out for our project coming soon, me, Gem, BK. Yeah, we're gonna have a little project coming soon, so. Mm-hmm.